this morning, one of our viewers greeted us with a beautiful gift. I mean, uh, a thoughtful gift, which was a John Deere C1200 string trimmer. No! Doesn't start, it, apparently. It can't possibly start. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, look. You want to prime this? <laughs> <laughs> the primer just came off. <laughs> there's not even a gas line. You see that? There's no gas line right there. Well, there's one gas line and then another one someone just taped. <laughs> oh my goodness. And and good good luck with the throttle here. What the heck? This thing just comes out. <laughs> Dude, I already hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> With the failed components beginning to mount, I decided it best to purchase a new carburetor kit off eBay. It's a little grungy. It should be doable. Right? Yeah, just take these couple things off. What is this? Look, like someone already repaired this. Is that normal? No, that's not or normal. Or is that... Somebody did something. Jimmy rigged? Jimmy rigged it. Three yeah. ace. That's loose. were extremely loose. Oh, really? <laughs> like, I didn't have to do anything, hardly. You never do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it looks identical. Besides, this one's not broken, but... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what? This comes off so easy. Look at this thing. Is that the way it's supposed... This is not... This is exactly how it's supposed to be. <laughs> John Deere's starting to slip a little bit. So we'll keep that casket. That one's pretty moist already. So let's just put it in the middle for now. We can move it later. Okay. It Do just it gives a gas. Okay. Open this to the throttle. Got it. It's just a gasket. There's no hole. We don't need a hole. Mm -hmm. This thing just seems ghetto. After attaching the new carburetor, let's address the fuel lines. Oh, jeez. Oh, my bad. <laughs> the rat might jump out of there. Oh, yeah, look, there's the old fuel filter in there. We're not using that one anymore. So we'll feed it through. Connect the filter on the inlet side and then pull it back in, cut it off. Yep. Good. I think Gavin would approve. Yeah. And Gavin we trust. <laughs> this would be kind of neat if it worked, wouldn't it? Would be. Is that easy? Not that much. Just make sure we got enough to get the other one back. So this is our overflow. overflow. This engine requires premixed fuel at a 50 to 1 gasoline to oil ratio. That's it. Inlet on the bottom, overflow on the top. Yes. Inlet, outlet. Yep. Hey, you got enough. Little bulb. You got two bulbs extra. Trigger, she dies. You need to adjust the idle. There, you want to adjust it? Sure. 
While we tinker with the idol, I'd encourage you to check out my beautiful novel, Discarded Horse Feathers, available at all major online retailers. Or if you decide to order directly from me at vestigialvoice.com, I'd be happy to send you a signed copy. So this is the amount, the valve that lets in the fuel. So when you push this down, so it wasn't staying on. So this screw is here is to adjust that. So all I did is when it was running and idle speed is move this screw forward enough so that, so that it, it stayed, stayed on, on. Yep. With, with me letting the trigger go, but not staying on long enough that it makes the whip go around. That makes sense. Since the string is so brittle, let's replace that too. All you do is just stick it in the hole and you just wrap it. Oh yeah! Thank you guys for stopping by. I'd really appreciate you liking our video if you found it helpful. We'll see you next time. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. Was that you? I just had an aquafina.